Hi guys, I'm Liam Berry. Welcome to Alcan ADV. Uh, today we're going to talk about a couple of mods that I've done to the bike uh, that didn't make it to the mods videos, but I thought were important enough to get included. Anyway, here it goes. So the first thing I want to cover is these light mounts. I got these uh, PLX aftermarket lights for cars or whatever. Uh, at Napa, I'm pretty happy with them. They're a couple of thousand lumens and whatever. But I couldn't find a mounting position that I liked. I tried up here on the KLR dash and, and they worked well up there, but they vibrated quite a bit and I didn't want that. I was worried about the longevity of the attachment points of the KLR dash down to the plastic because that's all it attaches to is plastic. Anyway, uh, I thought of crash bar mounts, but of course that's the first thing to hit when you go down. and. Uh, kind of wanted the crash bars to protect the lights instead of use the lights to protect the rest of the bike. Um, the only other position that I really found online was uh, the fork mounts that, that go up underneath the uh, front fender and uh, or over the top. There's a few, a few different ones. Anyway, I like the idea, but I wanted the, the lights to stay um, straight to the bike and not turn. Anyway, so all in all, I, I figured that this position, it's within the plane here that generally the bike is protected in. The crash guards on the handlebars and the uh, crash bars, nothing really penetrates this. The, the wheel and the, all this kind of protects the plastic. And this light is tucked up inside this uh, crook here to where it's kind of still in that. It may get hit, and if it does, <laughs> it'll hit this plastic, but you know, whatever. So this is the bracket. Um, basically what this is, this is just one inch by I think quarter um, bar aluminum. And then this is bar stock that uh, I have a friend with a milling machine and all that. So we milled this out and uh, made a little clamp here. And this goes on, this is the other attachment point for uh, the plastic here. And so this just clamps onto that. This is a 5 8 uh, rod. So this has a 5 8 hole in it and two screws through the back. So this is the other side uh, and you can see the 5 8 uh, hole and then I've got two Allen screws in there holding it all together. Anyway, these are quite adjustable. I had these made just with the flat bar stock straight and then I bent it up to where I wanted it. Uh, and overall I think they're a nice little mount. I'm even thinking of uh, <laughs> doing something like Eagle Mike and, and patenting this and making a product out of it, but I don't know. So anyway, they're kind of, they're nice, they're compact. They put the lights in close to the bike, which I wanted, and uh, they're pretty stable. I think I could, I don't know, I possibly could rotate this around the bar, um, but if you tighten this down far enough, there's they're not going anywhere. I thought this is a good time to put a little tip in here. If you ever need to get a nut to somewhere impossible to get to, like the back side of that bolt or uh, you know somewhere way down deep where you can't get your hand in, you can take masking tape and close off one side of a box end wrench, uh, either side, whichever side works better for where you want to put it, and just take your nut and stick it in there. The tape will stick to it, the nut doesn't drop out, and, uh, and you just hold it in there like this, and then uh, 
put your screw in there on the other side. Anyway, this has helped me out on a few occasions, and I know a lot of you guys know this already, but if there's one guy out there that doesn't, this is worth it. The other mod I'm going to talk about today was actually repair, and uh, just so happens I've used this on a number of other things, snow machines and whatnot, so it works so well that I just had to include it somewhere. Uh, I laid this thing down last winter in December, uh, riding across some glare ice that I knew was glare ice and was just trying to test my boundaries, I guess, but... Anyway, this crash bar, I was disappointed because I thought it just bent in. It bent in and crunched a hole in this plastic. Uh, I found out later I, I took it all apart and it wasn't the crash bar's fault. There was a bolt missing out of the crash bar uh, where it attaches to the frame down here. So it was my fault for not, not catching that. So the idea was I picked up the pieces of plastic and uh, I'll bring you guys over here. So this piece here was broken out. The edge goes right along here and then it comes down along there. And there's another piece uh, down under here that's actually the same thing. But anyway, what I do is I drill holes in here along this edge and then I drill holes on the other edge. And uh, you lace this with either very thick uh, thread or fishing line. Sometimes I use halibut line depending on how strong I need it. Uh, and then once that's all done, put all your lacing in and get the pieces just in the right spot. Then you take a uh, clear two-part epoxy and epoxy this side and epoxy the back side. This is a, a basically permanent fix. Also over here, uh, a chunk of this piece was broken out. Goes down, oh, I don't know, about, about down to there. This whole piece right in here uh, was completely missing. This is, this is not plastic right there. What I did was I cross-laced this with uh, thread. I think it goes down here too. And made this, this nice little web. When I was confident it was the shape I wanted, um, I just filled it in with epoxy. And this took a few coats because the epoxy would you know, go through if I, if I put too thick of a coat on. But uh, eventually, you know, this is plastic. This is cured epoxy and a little bit of paint and you know who would know right so anyway if you guys uh, need to fix something that's plastic uh, and you've got the pieces this is a good way to put it back together to where it's structurally fairly sound i mean it, it doesn't look perfect but you know what it's klr it's part of the character i know i need to clean it, it it's a dual sport right you know that's okay anyway that's about it and i hope this helps somebody out so that is the video. I uh, hope you guys liked it. If you've got anything to add to this, any comments or little tips, uh, leave them down in the comments. Uh, they'll help somebody out, me if nobody else. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.